I don't have time today to produce a lot of graphs so I thought I'd just show you quickly in a spreadsheet how a graph can change by different countries. Now what we have here is the the Nehru, the OECD estimate of it, the blue line, it'll be blue for every country and the red line is the actual unemployment rate, it's annual data. So this is this data here is um, for Australia as you can see the countries are across here so what we have here is the unemployment rate history since 1970 up to 2013 and the OECD's estimate of the Nehru and each of these spikes upwards these asymmetric spikes where it rises sharply then falls relatively slowly is associated with a major recession in Australia and each time there's a there's a, a, a a spike up the the estimated Nehru just follows it up and it comes down and it goes back up and and it's really just a some sort of filter of the actual rate there's no structural reason in Australian history why these increases or decreases have occurred this is just a a, a, a mindless technical filter let's have a look at another country for example uh, Belgium uh, what have we got here red and we'll just drag the Nehru across and once again you see this uh, major recession in the mid 70s associated with the OPEC crisis and the estimated Nehru after that relatively steady and the Nehru is relatively steady there's no there was no structural occurrence that would have occurred caused this estimate to rise like that let's have a look at say France which is the cyclicality is uh, uh, very pronounced so we want to get the Nehru across here very quickly and as you can see that there's virtually no separate content in the blue line information content that is it's just some sort of filter and these increases are cyclical events uh, let's have a look at Greece it should be interesting uh, much less data available for Greece now here you and I'm not going to alter this for given the speed but here you have the same thing rising Nauru why no structural reasons and at least they've had the decency to recognize a major cyclical event here so the blog will talk about all of this